so I've pretty much got everything wired up now uh, apart from the MIDI out jack but that's not really important for now because I've not got any code written um, so I've moved the um, the column select pins uh, which let you select which group of keys you want to activate onto the output of this integrated circuit uh, and this is a shift register so how does a shift register work uh, well basically you have eight pins uh, which are connected to the thing that you want to control which in this case is uh, which column of the scan matrix is turned on and in our case we only need seven pins but there's eight pins on the chip anyway and then basically you have three pins which are connected to the Arduino and they are the data pin uh, which is which is how you feed data into the chip the latch pin um, which which so basically the way it works is there's two registers inside uh, and the storage register is connected to the output pins and then there's a shift register so what the storage register does oh sorry what the latch pin does is locks the storage register um, which means that while you're putting data into the shift register uh, the output isn't changing so uh, so basically we don't want to be we don't want to be in an intermediate state because that would be bad um, and then to write data on we basically set, um, put the bit that we want on the data pin and then um, set the clock to one and then the, then that data will be in the shift register uh, and you keep doing that and so on until your shift register is full and you've written all eight bits uh, and then basically what you do is you set the latch back to zero which then connects the shift register and the storage register together so essentially the data is copied um, together and now whatever you've just shifted into the shift register is is on the output and that's pretty much it. it that might not be exactly how the chip works inside but uh, it's, it's definitely a, a good enough understanding for, for the scope of this project. The other pins, uh, so there's three, the three important pins are connected to the Arduino and then all the other pins are the key pins um, but each one of them has a pull down resistor to ground um, because basically if the key's not pressed then the output is floating so we don't really want that.